Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and in these tutorials I will show you how can we apply the fast ORB and method feature detectors to detect interesting key points from the given image. So let us get started. In last video I shown you how to implement uh, the uh, Harris Sheetomasi feature detectors and now I'm going to show you how we can apply fast feature detector detector and ORB detector and the last one that I am going to show you is MESER MSER detector so let's implement the fast detector it is a very the name indicates it's very fast and very good in fact so double click on this and I'm just going to copy some part of uh, this previous code and paste it here. And essentially, I just want to maybe create a method. And I just call this method, for example, uh, apply uh, fast feature detector. And I'm going to create this method now and outside here let me create a private void and a fast feature detector so let me apply the try cage first okay and the message box ex dot message and inside it and uh, what i want to do is first i need to make sure that my image list of input is not null so input if it is equals equals null then i probably return okay and if it is not then i just want to read it into a variable variable img is equal to img list and i call it img input and the dot clone it okay and for feature detection uh, the color is not important so i just want to convert it into a grayscale image so gray and img dot convert function and this time i am going to convert into the gray while keeping the depth same so once i get the uh, image in gray then i can use this fast feature detector so i call it detector is equal to new fast feature detector let me create the object and this is another threshold value uh, that i want to select because if you if you read the algorithm of this fast you will come to know that what this threshold is so it is selecting basically 16 pixels around it and it selects what should be the difference between this uh, the intensity of the pixel and the central pixel and the pixels around it so by default i'm uh, selecting this 10 as it is and maybe i should say it's a threshold and uh, since i'm using this method uh, i will be calling it as in the parameter so integer threshold is equal to 10 so the default value that i set is also the 10 we will do this something similar to i did previously for harris corner detector and once we have the detector then we can calculate the corners corners is equal to detector dot detect and detect and i'm going to detect the corners in my gray image so essentially this will uh, give me the corners or the most important features in the image and i want to display them and using the draw key point so i just create mate of output image is equal to new mate to keep the drawn images over here and so i will use feature to the toolbox dot draw key points and these are the images for which we calculated the key points and the detector and the corners okay new 
vector of key points I can pass the corners so that we can convert it into vector of key points and the output image is my output image and we can select any color I prefer to use the red color and the rest is as it is so we have drawn the images in my uh, output image so this is the output image and it's time to show the image so picture box one dot image is equal to out image dot uh, to bitmap and also one more thing last in the uh, last video I created uh, a parameters uh, although I have written the Horace parameters but we can use it in the same fashion as we use it so that we can change the this threshold value and check it so what I can do is form parameter Harris parameter I should have kept it a generic name is equal to new new parameter so that threshold value can be between 0 and 15 because it is considered 16 neighborhoods and the current value whatever the default value it is 16 and the parameters dot um, on apply and I'm interested to call this apply fast detector and now I can show the parameters dot show dialog okay so uh, let us run it so just the only thing that I changed is the detector and the rest of the things are same so let us run it and see the results so let me open a file and uh, building and now from the feature detectors I want to select the fast and as you can see for my default value many features have been detected so if I if I in, decrease this threshold value more features will be detected so if I increase it for example and if I more increase it so as you can see if I reach the 15 so these are the most important features and the number of features it has detected is too much you can see and it is also very fast okay so this is how we detect the features using the fast so let us try to implement the ORV detector so double click on that and for ORV I am also going to and just copy this um, maybe I should implement it inside so I'm just going to copy whatever I have done for the fast the only thing that I will change is as you can understand is this uh, part so ORB detector so I'm just going to create uh, an object of this ORB detector and remember that it has also some parameters so the number of features that it is detecting is 500 so if you want more you can adjust it so there are some scaling factors number of levels edges and all those should we use this Harris or not so I am just using the default values over here and uh, let us see if we can get some results similar to the previous one or not so just I want to increase the number of features from 500 to 1000 so let us run it and file open and let us run the ORB detector so as you can imagine that ORB was a little slower compared to the fast and the number of detectors it has detected there are some of course uh, some redundancies as you can see many features have been detected around it so in the detector that will give me the best results I will select it so so far fast is what uh, I think looks very good if I do with the default values not to be biased so let us check with the default values also and now I check the building and again 
run the ORB detector so it is it took little time less time compared to the previous one but still not as fast as the fast detector and if you look at the fast it is really fast <laughs> so okay and the last thing uh, that I just want to show you is the Messer. This is another interesting uh, feature detector. So I just copy the same code, and as you can guess, that the only thing that I need to change is the object right here. So let us create an object of MSER detector, and I just copy it here. And it has also a parameter the delta the minimum and it is it is much more complicated and you must know the algorithm of it and you can check the parameters which one is for what purpose because without understanding you will not be able to get into the which one will give me the best results so uh, here i just change the msr detector and if we try it it is also a, an interesting feature detector and I open the same image and now I'm going to apply the MSER detector so it is with the default settings it was able to find out these corners and I hope these videos will help you out to get start with the MGU CV in Windows forms and also I have shared this project on github so you can directly access whatever the code that I have implemented and see you in the next video